If I call the police and they say I saw Dan Martin driving and holding his phone. I hope not. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Dan and Dan here from Texas Corners Criminal Law, Daniel Schwamm. And we are here today to talk about the new cell phone law in Michigan that enacts when, Dan? Tomorrow, June 30th. All right, so we're shooting it on Thursday for you guys to watch today. The new law is designed to prevent people from holding a device and manipulating it while operating a motor vehicle. And I got ahead of myself because I wanted to introduce your credentials. So can you tell us about your angle on this issue as far as your occupation? Sure, so actually this is my 20 year anniversary from graduating from Wayne State Law School. And I opened up my own law practice, Texas Corners Criminal Law. So both of us are part of the RBI Kalamazoo networking group. So I read the law and as I understand it, for your first offense, there's a fine. And I think the idea behind that is to get people's attention and maybe send a warning. Your second offense, it gets a little bit more serious. You have one point in your driver's license, and then there's a higher fine. And then your um, third or subsequent offense is actually two points in your driver's license, and you have to actually take a driver improvement program, or you could have your license suspended. So here's the most wild thing that I heard uh, from you, or maybe I was just thinking about it uh, earlier this week, but I, I don't know how this plays out. You said that you could be caught on camera or video holding your phone mm -hmm. then that would be the evidence of if you're caught there there's your ticket yep you're done okay so i don't think the police officers are going to be recording with their phones from their car that doesn't right. seem safe right is it possible that from a stoplight or other places in the city that that could be a possibility that people are literally just driving anywhere and having photos or videos taken of them like at uh, toll booths in Chicago. Yeah, oh yeah, all the time. So actually one of the key pieces of evidence I look for in criminal defense is it's called a mobile video recorder, MVR. Most police cars are, out, are equipped with this, so it's a mounted camera that's on the dashboard and it's almost always on. And so if you're passing in front of a police officer and that's on, that's an easy way for them to record you doing that. Is that the same thing that you see in like a you know recorded video that it's a police chase or whatever and there's yes. the audio and video yep. separate from the acts on cameras? Yep, that's right. So the difference here with the new law is you have to be supporting it. So right. It's a much easier way to prove it. You, you can use a single button press, tap, or swipe to activate or deactivate a feature or function of the mobile electronic device or to select a telephone number or name. So here- So right now the phone's on. Yep. I could do a swipe to open it up. Now if I hit it a couple more times, is that, you know, my password? Technically there? that's a violation of the law where you just- Because it's multiple taps. Yes, yep. Okay. So, but if you just simply press on that message right there and, and call that person, then you're okay under the law. Got it. So incoming call, accept call, it goes to the speakers in the vehicle. Yep. And now, now hands are not touching the phone. And I can talk through the phone, through the vehicle speakers. Yep, that's right. So another curveball topic that I thought was interesting is right now we're we're in a vehicle. I'm in the driver's seat, and the car's actually turned on because we want a little bit of AC for our video here. Mm -hmm. But um, if I picked up the phone here, like this, the vehicle's running, and I'm just holding it. I'm not doing anything. I'm just talking to you. Mm -hmm. Am I in violation right now in a non-moving vehicle? Believe it or not, under the way the law is written currently, it, you are. Because it's a, what they do is they adopt the uh, term operation, which applies to drunk driving law. And so drunk driving law, the, the term operating means the vehicle's on and you're in the driver's seat. So it doesn't matter if you're parked or whatever, if the motor's on, then like right now the motor's off in this car, so you actually would be okay. Oh, I'm safe. Yeah, Whew, the, yeah, okay. The, yeah. If you're supporting it, which could be your hand or doing Shoulder, this. Yep. Okay, so that's supporting it with your body. Yep. I'm in violation. That's right, yeah. So where do you see this going in your world as far as maybe defending a case or that kind of thing? So that's like kind of the fun thing. So whenever- this is somebody's driver's license. Absolutely, right? yeah. So what, what I see happening, whenever there's a new law that's passed, it has to be tested in the courts. And so there's all kinds of areas in the law that are sort of ambiguous, like an A law. And so eventually somebody will be convicted of this and it'll affect their driver's license and then they'll appeal it. 
and then the Court of Appeals will have to review whatever the issue is and then create case law and that'll interpret the areas of the law that are sort of ambiguous. So it needs to work its way through. That's right, yeah. As far as solutions, I think the best thing that the KZoom team has, just within our team talking about it, um, this is Jordan's um, phone holder. So uh, it's just a, it's a phone holder that fits within the CD uh, drive. I feel like I'm in support of the law and want to follow it because that makes makes us better and safer. Absolutely, yep. So I'm thinking of our kids. Yeah. For you know, sure. we have two daughters who are driving. I kind of would rather them. I'm going to buy them something like this to get it out of their hands. So sure, absolutely. I'm in support of it. Well, Daniel, thanks for being with us and sharing that that advice from the legal perspective. And if, uh, I don't know if your viewers want to get a hold of me. If they have questions, I'm happy to talk with people. Um, I offer a free 30-minute consultation for any type of case, including something like this. So. Oh,